U.S. approves 1.3 billion military aid to Egypt, overriding human rights concerns. The U.S. decision to provide 1.3 billion in military aid to Egypt, despite ongoing concerns about human rights abuses, reflects the complex interplay between Washington's strategic interests and its commitment to promoting human rights. The Biden administration's waiver of conditions that would normally tie military assistance to improvements in Egypt's human rights the code highlights the importance of Egypt's role in maintaining regional stability, particularly amid the ongoing Israel Hamas conflict in Gaza, Egypt's strategic role in U.S. national security. Egypt's strategic importance to the U.S. is difficult to overstate, as one of Washington's most significant allies in the Middle East, Cairo has long played a crucial role in mediating many regional conflicts. Most recently, the Israel Hamas war, Egypt has been instrumental in brokering ceasefires facilitating the release of hostages and ensuring that humanitarian aid reaches Palestinians affected by the violence in Gaza. For the Biden administration, these efforts are key to maintaining regional stability and advancing U.S. interests in the Middle East. Secretary of State Antony Blinken emphasized the military aid package is critical to securing peace in Gaza and advancing broader U.S. security objectives. He pointed out that Egypt's role in securing ceasefire agreements, managing humanitarian aid, and bringing hostages home underscores its value as a partner in resolving the ongoing conflict. The decision to release the full military aid package, despite Egypt's troubling human rights, reflects the administration's prioritizing of short-term security concerns over long-term democratic reform. Balancing Human Rights and Strategic Interests For years, the U.S. has whistled a portion of its military aid to Egypt, around $320 million annually, as leverage to encourage Cairo to improve its human rights practices. This aid was conditional on Egypt releasing political prisoners and making broader strides in democracy and political freedoms. In 2024, however, the Biden administration chose to waive these conditions, arguing that Egypt had made clear and consistent improvements in its human rights record. While the administration has pointed to the release of hundreds of political prisoners as evidence of progress, human rights organizations like Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch argue that these efforts are insufficient. They claim that the Egyptian government continues to arrest political dissidents at a much higher rate than it releases them and repressive practices including torture, enforced disappearances, and the targeting of journalists and activists remain widespread. Furthermore, Egypt has continued to use vague morality laws to prosecute LGBTQ individuals, female social media influencers, and survivors of sexual violence. The decision to waive human rights conditions on military aid raises broader questions about U.S. commitment to promoting democracy and human rights abroad. Critics argue that by continuing to provide military support to authoritarian regimes like Egypt, the U.S. is undermining its own values and signaling to other repressive governments that security concerns will always take precedence over human rights. Historical Context of U.S.-Egypt Relations The U.S.-Egypt relationship is deeply rooted in decades of military and economic cooperation. Following the 1979 Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty, Egypt became one of the largest recipients of U.S. foreign aid. This financial support has been a cornerstone of the relationship ensuring Egypt's continued alignment with U.S. regional interests, including counterterrorism efforts, securing the Suez Canal and maintaining peace with Israel. However, Egypt's domestic situation has been a source of tension in the relationship, particularly under the President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, who came to power in a 2030 military coup. El-Sisi's government has been widely criticized for its harsh repression of political opposition, jailing of dissidents, and restrictions on civil society. Despite these concerns, the U.S. has continued to provide military aid, citing Egypt's importance in maintaining regional stability. While the U.S. has occasionally withheld aid in response to Egypt's human rights abuses, these actions have often been short-lived. The Biden administration's decision to release the full $1.3 billion aid despite the lack of substantial human rights reforms, fits within this broader pattern of prioritizing security and stability over democratic principles. Security over democracy The decision to provide Egypt with $1.3 billion military aid without attaching the usual human rights conditions underscores the challenges the U.S. faces in balancing its strategic interests with its state's commitment to human rights. While Egypt remains a critical partner in U.S. efforts to stabilize the Middle East, the move has drawn criticism from rights groups who argues that Washington is enabling Egypt's continued repression of political opposition and civil society.
Ultimately, the decisions reflect a broader trend in U.S. foreign policy, where short-term security concerns often take precedence over long-term goals of promoting democracy and human rights. In the case of Egypt, maintaining regional stability and securing cooperation in key areas of U.S. foreign policy has once again outweighed the push for democratic reform.